fabulous prizes may go to these people tonight if they know when the price is right. And now here's the ultimate. A three-wheeled car with a high-impact, plastic-resistant rosin body, top speed of 85 miles per hour. For comfort and economy, it's the Dale by 20th Century Motor Car Corporation. The Lady in the Dale is a four-part doc series, and it's about Elizabeth Carmichael. She tried to market this three-wheel car called the Dale. It was this fuel-efficient car during the gas crisis in the 70s. And basically, she was taking on the big three car companies. At the time, it got to be a, a, a pretty big story. And then, of course, everything goes awry. She's this larger-than-life character. And as we were doing interviews, I kept learning more and more. And it was just absolutely fascinating. This was the first time where I was like, OK, I, I got to see episode two now. Where have, you guys, have you guys done episode two yet? I was literally watching it as a fan to be like, what's next? We filmed the interviews for this series on Canon's Sumire Prime lenses and the Canon C300 Mark IIs. We went with the 35 on A, got a little bit wider, and then the 50 a little bit tighter. It was kind of a perfect setup and not too off axis from what the A camera was doing. It's just that kind of that softness you get, still getting a bunch of like the detail that you need. A lot of the reason to shoot on Canon was because I'm so familiar with them. That's just a comfort factor that I have. The less I have to worry about the technical part of the camera and having that comfort factor where I know what I'm gonna get is gonna be great, then I can do everything else I need to do. Do whatever you can to make it feel as natural as possible, as organic as possible. Wanted to be very conversational and didn't want any kind of artifice to distract the viewer from what they were trying to tell us. The Lady in the Dale is just an absolutely amazing story and I'm, and I'm really proud to be a part of this one. And I can't wait for people to see it. People need a hero. That's what America's all about.